What's good, Homer Squad? It's your boy, Homer Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And we back with Rustage with Shogun featuring Top Ham Tokyo. Top Ham. Top Ham Hat Kyo. Top Ham Hat Kyo. I always get that name butchered so wrong and such. But, hey, it's been a, well, it's been a little minute since these two came, came back together. Because, trust me. From the well, I can't remember. It's basically like this. The last time I heard these two together on a song, and y'all can correct me below and such, was from that damn Alucard rap blood. <laughs> Bro. Hey, one thing with Rustage, when it comes to him going on that, going to like international, like, features and such, I guarantee you. He be finding the right ones, cause it's a, it's hard to even try to it's hard to find one. It's hard for like somebody who speaks a different language to match the same energy as somebody who does speak English and such. Especially when it comes to music and such. And trust me, on that song, blood. Brother, they did that and ten times more. Even if I didn't understand what Top Ham was saying, still, just the flow of how it sounded was fire as hell. So we about to check this out. Check, I'm about to check this out. And this was off of his album Wanted. And I realized I'm not going to be able to do the whole entire album reaction. I did say I was, but anytime when the song comes out and such because like how he said he's gonna the next few weeks and such as soon as when the album dropped he's gonna do music videos for them so might as well do it like that so we better check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get into this They hang on every word that I've spoken. Yeah, every word that I've spoken. Keep on talking like a cause of commotion. Yeah. Hey, when hey, they bow to the show, they Hold on. Go try to mimic rapping like pop by the beat is spin it, check up to me like joke. The beat like it's the pop. Basically the pop by the beat is spinach and he gonna eat it up. I get that, but the way how he said it was Say it one more time, nigga. <laughs> Will Adams yeah. and Samurai's moving British, they gon' try to mimic rapping like pop by the beat of spinach. Yeah. I got ops on me like yo, Kai on a caliber spirits, and they acting like they had you could waited for me to finish. Yeah. Like leaving my shooters, read the maneuvers, yeah. cross out a man like a street in Shibuya. Yeah. You run cross with out a man like a street in Shibuya. Mm. <laughs> Even though, is there a street like that? Is it because I know Shibuya is JJK, but you know what? I know he probably talking about Sukuna. Cause the big raga and such, <laughs> maharaga and such. Here you go. <laughs> Hey, I'm like a 
Wave of Kanagawa, how I'm ripping mm, yeah. boats Tokugawa, I got diamonds as my stepping stones Writing out my lyrics like they study in Rosetta Stones They're coming back Writing down my lyrics like they study in Rosetta Stones mm. Tokugawa, I got diamonds as my stepping stones Writing out my lyrics like they study in Rosetta Stones They're coming back, I'll make them die twice Back in the back and forth with it and such Like, grin Man, I wish I could be able to speak Japanese. I ain't gonna camp with y'all. <laughs> I wish I could be able to want to speak another language and such. And people will always, and it's so crazy where we live in a world where there's always division and such. But the one thing you've always seen that when it comes to hip hop, you see connection, you see like, you see unity within two different languages. I mean, Take for example the Hanuman kind rapper that I just react I reacted to his song Big Dogs. You cannot bro with that thing and such that was fire and such. But then but there's always gonna be like there was always gonna be that negativity out there and such and Lord and behold there was where I see that there was since there was like some racist marks about how oh you because he's Indian he can't speak English. I'm like, bro, so even if he doesn't speak English or even if he does speak English, what the heck does that matter? When it comes to the music, and plus, with music, with hip-hop, it doesn't just become this only black thing and such. It's begun, it's like international. So, the fact that you got Indians out there like that doing the hip-hop shit like this, and then he, then during that song, he was paying homage to like, Project Rocky or saying Swerving while bumping Project Pat. Come on now. Cause hence that sound that he was that kind of rapping style he was doing does reminiscence of Project Pat. So the fact that with me, that's why I always say when it comes to hip hop, I don't care what language you are, I don't care what I don't care what what language you speak, I don't care what skin color you are, I don't care what ethnicity you are. If you're fire, you're fire. Point blank. Period. Cause a commotion when I hop in a hit to show me. I'm like a wave of Kanagawa, how I'm wrecking boats. Tokugawa, I got diamonds as my stepping stones. Writing out my lyrics like they study in Rosetta Stones. They're coming back, I'll make them die twice. Second run. When they hang on every word that I've spoken, yeah. steel in my hand and the form is unbroken. Keep on talking, I got cause a commotion. Stand when I walk and they bow to the show. Yeah. When they hang on every word that I've spoken, Hey man, I don't care what anybody say, as long as it's fire to me, it's fire, but hey man, just be sh rest assured when the next song comes out, I'm making sure I react to that, but hey, shout out to Rusted, shout out to Top Ham Tokyo, well I feel like that's how I, that's the name how it is, I know I'm probably butchering it wrong and such, but it is what it is, but hey, shout out to Rusted man, fire song and such nice little bop to it and such especially in that the middle end and such but yeah but with that being said like i said before at the end of the day when it comes to hip-hop when it comes to just music in general no matter what it is just because you don't like it that don't mean nobody else is gonna like it 
Because at the end of the day, in this whole thing when it comes to, especially in the world, when it comes to division and such in like different languages or different countries, the number one thing that we all can that we all can have in common with and have a connection with is music. Whether it's hip hop, R and B, whatever. But the one of the main ones are like hip hop and such. So hey, at the end of the day, I don't care. If it sounds good, it sounds good. And to quote a lyric from my Jamaican one of my favorite Jamaican artists, well, everybody in Jamaica's favorite artist, Bob Marley, when you feel the music, when you hear the music, you feel no pain. I'm probably paraphrasing it wrong, but it is what it is. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. I'm out.